Looks to be quite comfortable. Looks to be enjoying herself out here as well in these tough conditions. Wow, she's got it. And Megan Kang catches her good friend Nelly Corder at the top of the leaderboard. Megan, who broke through to win for the first time in her career last year. She does, but as you said, it is back uphill. Shouldn't be too much of an issue here. And I think what, what Nelly can do now is just really draw from the experience of yesterday. Basically, the same thing happened. Nelly's cooperated a bit, but uh, it's mostly been about Megan. Three under through seven. Up ahead, Lexi Thompson. Tough start for her today. A pleasant day temperature wise, but it's difficult because of the wind. Completely different direction, especially here on nine. Tom, straight into the wind today. Yeah, you can see some of that dust from the uh, Coquina cart pass being blown across in front of Lexi Thompson there. Lydia Ko has 20 LPGA titles. Her next one will put her in the Hall of Fame. Could it be today, her third at eight? Seeing some sweaters today, Morgan. Karen mentioned the wind now out of the north. And uh, you thought that was just going to roll straight over into today. That's her fourth shot at the par five. How far back will it come back? Oh, what a beauty. Wow. What a shot. That could save. Right now, the wind feels like it's pushing. This going to push this ball to the right. She played it as such. And that'll be a putt to take the lead alone. Yeah, nicely done. And that will leave a putt. For Lydia Ko to get the 10 under par presented by Progressive Insurance for Mao Saigo here at the 15th rookie from Japan had a very good season on the Japanese tour last year with five wins and this one looks pretty good at the 15th is it going to hang there the two players are very different Megan obviously having a good time and Nelly looks like she's got a little bit of weight on her shoulders right now this one's going to break left oh what <laughs> Much needed. That, Nelly. That was huge. You know, that look was all determination. And, and I expected Megan to make that. She looked so solid. Well, they say familiarity breeds contempt. And Lexi Thompson with her second. Yeah, this hole playing completely differently today. Straight down winds. A rookie from Florida had that terrific round yesterday, round in 64. And a good save there, and she's hanging around. You never quite know what could happen on the back nine. So kind of manufacturing her way through the wind, coming up with shots, being creative. It was a very nice shot into the green here at 15 for Saigo, but she doesn't convert the birdie. Tough hole today, Tom. Only one birdie from Cheyenne Knight so far today. Which is a points-based system. And it's one point for a victory. She needs just one point to get to the magic number of 27 points. She got one last week for winning the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions. The bigger story is the wind is playing into the wind, so at least 15 yards of wind up there, I would say, right now. She is incredibly good at manufacturing some shots, keeping it low. And that one just got up into the wind of here. It's very easy to run through on the left, as we saw through the ways do. It's a good looking good. shot here for Nelly. Well, Club 12 means she likes it. Yeah, and she should. Good shot. What have you seen in Nelly's body language uh, throughout the day and, of course, uh, over the last, say, 20 minutes or so? Well, I think that she's just got, uh, especially that part in the last, I mean, she just had a look of determination about her. Like, there was a, 
I'm just going to get this done kind of look as opposed to a resignation of like a woe is me. It wasn't that at all. It was I'm going to get the job done. Could make you putt tentatively though from here on out. Coming back the other way. Okay. Well, we didn't see that coming. There's been some surprises. Up ahead, Lydia Ko. This for birdie. Get within two. Lydia Ko within one point of the LPGA Hall of Fame. And here she is in contention again. Just a moment ago at the 10th, Nelly caught a second. This is from 128, and it's a little bit on the left side. Palm tree is going to cause her no issues. 124 to the hole. This is going to be a wedge. Good angle to, to that right flag. Uh, both Megan and Nelly have played this back nine very well so far this week. So off we go to the 11th. And Lydia Ko on the tee, you can see that flag there tucked over on the right. With the officials moving the tee forward to allow players to be aggressive. Almost doesn't even look like it's on the green there, Tom. Yeah. And I think as the ball approaches the hole, it looks like there's a little upslope there, so you've got to make sure you give it enough speed to get to the hole. Oh. Oh. Now she came up just a smidge short at nine. That was a great roll, Morgan, it looked like. Yeah, it looked like good speed, which is what we saw her struggle with a little bit yesterday. Not to be. Over at 12, Xiu Lin. Trying to creep a little closer. And she does. Tied for fifth now. That amount of points saved this week. And we said second or third place finish is basically going to guarantee your card for next year. Justin Kim tied for fourth. So you could. One spot closer to the Hall of Fame than she felt being two away. Felt like being two away might have been just too far, but now feels like one is very much in her grasp. Great two there. Yes, it was almost as if she said, well, I... A championing earlier is that should the unthinkable happen and Lydia Ko not win another point, one of the greatest players of the modern era wouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. And Laura Davies, how can you have an LPGA Hall of Fame without Laura Davies? Well, uh, my point is she wouldn't have earned enough points, so she wouldn't be in. That's what I'm saying. Right. Well, Megan Kang missed the putt a little longer than this on the ninth. This is for par at 11. Yeah, just better speed here. No problem. Now trying to win for the second time in eight starts. It's how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Austin Kim, second at the 12. Big hitter, Morgan. She's got tremendous power and so 13. This is she you Lin Level par for the day Not out of it yet four back Needs to sneak up and get that victory. Maybe that will be how she wins There's been so many chances for she you Lin Just a moment ago. This is Lindy Duncan for a birdie That is just incredible across the green. Maybe the longest part of the week. Hold. Austin Kim at the 12th. Mm. Huge drive, unable to take advantage of three putt bogey. She's got 124. Ball's just a hair below her feet. Wind from the right. Trying to control this one. You can see that little abbreviated follow through. Yeah, really well done. How about the stance here for Megan Kang at 12? Well, the ball's a little bit above her feet. She did take drive off the tee, hit it over the bunker, only had 68 yards left. Oh, look out. Made a 
72nd hole birdie and then beat the great Jin Young Ko in the playoff. At 14, Shi Yu Lin, her second. Doesn't matter what the wind direction is, 14 is just tough, isn't it? Well, we've seen a hole out from a bunker this week already. She did that on the 17th yesterday. This one's downwind, going to be tough to stop it. Good call. It's just really heavy sand here in this these bunkers, so it's tough to get enough spin. Yeah, I feel like her putting stroke looked a little bit better earlier today, like that putt on the eighth was a huge save. Is this another big one? It is, and Nelly escapes with a four. The putt at eight that you referenced is after having to take an unplayable. Way choked up on this, trying to control something, hold it up against the right to left wind. Oh, kind of did hang out there, and she was fortunate that didn't catch the bunker. Going to hit her on her left shoulder as well. Downhill for Megan. Well, a chance for a two shot swing instead. It's going to be Nelly still in front with. Six holes to play. Now food away to get within two. You wouldn't have thought all three would walk away with a four, would you? It's a crazy game. At the 13th, Lydia Ko is for par. Lydia. Bidding for that LPGA Hall of Fame if she were to win today. And that is not going to make it any easier. She will drop back to 10 under par. Only 34 players have made it to the. This is Megan Kang. Also from the upslope, 168. See her trying to keep this down a little Come bit. The wind just didn't move that at all. The wind, even though it feels like it's crossing from the right, it, it kind of almost works back into as well. So it's, it depends on the the wind direction. Oh, that is class. Oh, a player that uh, is familiar with windy conditions, the Scott Jimma Dryborough at the 16th. What a frame that one. What a game. Hits the green in regulation. Three putts for bogey at 13. Has to pitch out at 14. Saves her par. Megan's got 159. Really smart play there. Are we down to three players, Tom? Realistically, a chance to win? Looks that way. This is Lydia Ko, one of them. T shot at 15. Aggressive if you get it all the way back there, which she has done. That is uh, going to work out well. There's a slope behind this hole, which will just take it off the green. Need something miraculous. Nelly's had a way of enduring. She made a quad on the 71st hole at Pelican a couple of years ago. Came back. I just got to aim center the green. Let the wind drift this a little bit to the left. Solid shots are much less affected by the wind. So solid contact. Very important here. And the club just got stuck in that upslope. I look like she took it back very much inside. And you've got to try and pick yourself up after that. Wow, I, she is going to make a double. I think, Tom, to your point about about this golf course, it feels like it's a completely different course today with the wind changing direction as it has. Well, it's a completely different Nelly quarter that we're seeing right now. What? 
has happened here. Lydia for bogey. Okay, so she'll go back to nine under. Kang still has a par putt. Wind just dying down for her. And it is not. Well, that's moved a ton, and Goodness. it surprised everyone there. But the putter needs are talking to now. And we are going to have all three of these players tied at nine under par. Let's see what Lydia can do. Second shot to the par five. Well, working it in left to right, trying to trundle one in there. And this is going to work out very well indeed. Could it be? What a time to hit a shot like that. That's incredible. That's a Hall of Fame shot there from Lydia Ko. Ball's just a smidge above her feet. Yeah, I like this better for her, Karen, without hitting a big draw. She doesn't yeah. have as much curve in her ball flight. Won't ride the wind. Similar place to where we saw Lydia. And how about that? That was vintage Lydia Ko. I think about the shot that she hit in the Grant Thornton on 17 to set up a victory there with her and her partner Jason Day what she obviously accomplished last week updated Lydia's score so everyone around this green knows what Lydia has done that took a look that's for par coming up have been gifts to the field She lipped out a long birdie putt at 13. 14 ran it well past, missed the comeback. Her 15 came up short. I almost will this one right in the hole. And incredibly, Lydia Ko leads by three. Got plenty of green to get this one to land on the front and get it to release back to the hole. And this is a fading. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And hang on, not over yet. Oh, what a shot. What a time. One more solid swing here. It's going to leave a bit of a tricky putt up and over the ridge that dissects this 18th green. But out of that, out of that lie, there's a yeah, solid swing. <laughs> well, she was short of the green in two and then was going for the chip. I mean, she had to give it a go and uh, it, it ended up going too much and rolled over the back of the green. Hold the ceremony. We're not done yet. Nelly Corda for the second straight day. Eagle 17, and she is still in it. Yes. Well, she set the bar in so many ways for her generation into that wind right hole location looking for a little fade to move it back there Nelly would like to see something positive happen here I'll leave and trying to keep it down a little bit as well Karen yeah you you've got to really buy into it and this was not a low bullet this has got some air to underneath it oh Nelly That's for the win. Incredible. We're not done yet. I mean, the greatest dig deep, even when it looks yeah. like everything is going the other direction. This one's gone to 11. Lydia and Nelly are going to play off at Bradenton Country Club. Both came out here as teenagers. Mr. Friends and Megan staying with Nelly this week. And now she'll be 
cheering on Nelly and Lydia in the playoff.